right, good morning guys. This is gonna be a little bit of a crazy ordeal here. I set this trot line up last night and I've set it for really big fish and I can tell already that there's a fish on it because it is jerking. And I've baited this sucker specifically for really big catfish. I know I've got one anyways. I don't think he's overly big, but he is still a pretty good one. Looks like a blue. Got a little mangle. I mean, he's a solid 10 pounder or so. Probably a little heavier. Let's take a look at him. He'll not flop me to death. I mean, that's a pretty big dude. Let's put him in the cooler for a minute. Oop. I definitely got a second one and a third one. I definitely got two. Man, what is he the top? Uh, I might just Leave the hook in him for a minute. All right, we'll look at him in a minute. Let's get this other fish off. Two other fish. Got one little teeny tiny channel catfish. little guy got on there. I know if he would chill out a minute I'd let him go. <clears throat> That's a little channel. I'm not gonna keep him. Oh now this is the one we were looking for. Look at this big dude. Look at this big dude. <clears throat> wow. This is the one we were wanting. If I can just not. Hmm. I may deal with that in the boat too. We'll just let that go for a minute. Ugh. I tell you what. These are some really big catfish, guys. This one's probably a close to you know somewhere around 10 pounds or better I don't know I don't have a scale and I'm horrible at guesstimating on these guys I mean this is a big dude look at that I'm gonna let this guy go because I got too many giants but that's a big one I mean you got a double handy Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna throw this big dude back too. Look at how big he is. You can't keep but one catfish that's over so many inches and 
I don't know if any of them are over it. I know that big one is. This one probably is. I'm gonna let him go. But I think, now this big dude, this is a big old catfish. Good God. He's somewhere over 30 pounds. All right. This is a monstrous catfish. Just a brute. I think what I may end up doing is throwing him in my pond. What do you think, guys? You think he should go to the pond? <laughs> this is a... What is this one? This is a 120-quart cooler. And he's too long for the cooler. All right, this is my other trot line. The river was up so high, I had to run it down the bank. And I'll kind of show you the direction that it's running. I don't know what I got on it. This one was set up for smaller fish. And it clearly doesn't have much on it. On this end, anyway. It's a long one, though, so... It may have something way down there. Looks like it's still got most of its bait. If there's any reasonable fish on it. It's got something pulling. Might just be the current where it's locked up. No, this sucker is just hung. There it goes. It does have a fish on it. It's hard to tell what. He's pulling. It would be the one right on the tree. It's a pretty good size, whatever he is. I don't know if you can see the swirl that's coming up, but it's a big swirl. I don't know what he is. Another big blue. Another about a 10 pounder or better. I mean, that's a big dude. Ooh, wow. And see, that's a perfect example. You see what that blue cat did? I picked up on him and he snapped that hook. Now that's your standard stainless steel hook that comes from these little cheap Walmart trot lines. Which is the reason why that other trot line that you saw was a homemade one. I built it myself to hold these bigger fish in this. This is Mississippi River backwater. So the fish that are in here are really big. And these hooks just don't hold up. I mean, it's a stainless steel hook. It's a really thick hook. But when you got these cats on there, they are tough. All right, guys, as you can tell, I'm back out on the river again, or I'm in the backwater off the river. I motored down the river a little ways and then came in behind some islands. I set a couple of trot lines yesterday. Yesterday was July 4th. I set them really close to the evening so it'd have all night to set. Um, there was a couple hours in the daylight, but anyways, I came back this morning. The first trot line I had set up specifically for really big catfish. It was a trot line that I'd made myself um, where I had kind of overkilled the strength and the size of the hooks and everything and then the second one was just a store-bought um, like Walmart style uh, trot line pre-made in a, in a package the river is up a lot higher than what I normally fish I just had the time off work and wanted to do something so I came out here and ran them uh, but uh, the water was up so high I couldn't run it across the creek channel back here I had to run it down the bank running it down the bank did not produce as well I caught one blue cat 
I suck at trying to figure out how big they are. You can't really tell on catfish. I can't really tell on catfish without a scale. And so um, this one that got loose was at least over 10 pounds on this little trot line, but it was the only one that I caught. The other trot line had one teeny tiny channel cat and what three or four big blues on it. I don't remember now, but I think it was I think it was like three three big blues, three or four big blues. The biggest blue is well over 30 pounds, probably pushing a little bit closer to 40 pounds. Um, so it, it was a it was a good catch. It was a good catch. Uh, the TWRA, at least on the Tennessee side, you can fish Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, all the licenses on the river, but I'm pretty sure it says you can only keep one fish over a certain length, and I don't remember if it was 32 inches or 28 inches or 36 inches, something like that, one really long one. So I threw all the big ones back except the biggest one. And I'm not planning on keeping him and eating him. Usually the big ones like that, they taste like garbage. I'm gonna see if I can get him back and put him in my pond. <laughs> He is mad overkill to put in that pond. Yeah, I get it. But later on, I'll come back in and catch him on a barbie pole or a cane pole with a cricket or something. It'll be epic. So I don't have any more catfish in my pond. The river otters ate them all last winter. For those of you that don't know, if you've got river otters, they will eat all of your catfish in the winter. They ate all of mine. I only had about 15 that I threw in there, and they ate every one of them. So I'm going to put this big one in there, and then maybe here in the next month or so, I'll come back and try to catch him on a little bitty, little bitty tiny pole. What do you think? All right, well, anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Um, I'll see if I can get this catfish back to the house and then I'll show you the release when I get there. All right, bye. Let's see if he makes it. I don't know how big he is. <laughs> wanted to revive him, make sure he's going to be okay. He's trying to swim off from me now. Alright, he's calm down a little bit. He's a big dude, I know that. There you go. Boom. That's a prehistoric dude. Hey, he made it. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> well, that was an ordeal, but we made it. Um, he looks like he swam off fine. He looks like he's going to do great. I don't really know. Some of you other guys, if you've transplanted catfish out of river systems into ponds, let me know if you think he'll actually make it. I have put tons of catfish in here. I say tons, about 15 or 16 last summer out of a lake around the corner. Blue cats in channels and they, they all survived fine until the river otters got in here and they just ate them. So I don't know how big this guy was. He was somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds is my guess. I don't have scales. I don't usually weigh my fish, but those of you that catch a bunch of catfish and you saw how big he was in comparison to me, give me your guess of what you think he probably weighs. He's a blue cat, huge head on him, at least 38 inches long. I couldn't really tell. He kept flopping around when I was putting the tape on it and I didn't want to mess him up any worse than I already had. I wanted to get him in the water as fast as I could, but I wanted an estimate about how long he was. Um, but Hopefully later this summer or maybe next summer after he calms down a bit, I'll get out here with a little, little maybe a little Barbie pole or something and try to get him on a pole, a little pole and see how it is. He'd probably be hard enough on one of my bass rods, but um, it'd be cool to try to catch him. Anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one. Later. He seems to be doing really good.
He's going to swim right under me. <laughs>